Abdominal cramping, bloating, and bowel irregularities are most commonly associated with an unhealthy gut, but these aren't the only signs you should be looking out for. So today I'm going to walk you through three of the more surprising signs that may indicate an unhealthy gut and what you can do about each of them. Number one is excessive sugar cravings. While most people love a good sweet treat every once in a while, myself included, if you find that you have a particularly stubborn sweet tooth, your gut microbiome may be partially to blame. Certain gut microbes thrive off of sugar and they can manipulate your food cravings to benefit their survival. As you might imagine, this can lead to a bit of a vicious cycle where the more sugary foods you eat to satisfy your cravings, the more you encourage those sugar-loving gut microbes to grow and thrive, ultimately leading to even more sugar cravings. Although it's easier said than done, the best thing you can do is cut back on your intake of added sugar. That means things like soda, candy, baked goods, but there are also some less obvious sources of added sugar that you might not be aware of, like pasta sauces, salad dressings, breakfast cereals, and even nut butters. So be sure to read ingredient labels when you're grocery shopping. And next time you are craving something sweet, try to go for foods that are naturally sweet, like fresh fruit. Number two is unexplained weight gain. There are many reasons why someone might gain weight, but one lesser known potential contributor is an unhealthy gut microbiome. Certain microbes promote inflammation, cause insulin resistance, and they can affect the amount of calories we extract from food that we eat, which can all lead to weight gain over time. So to get your gut microbiome back in balance, you really want to feed those good gut bacteria. And you can do this by eating plenty of whole, plant-based foods, thick fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. I also recommend engaging in regular exercise to promote a healthy weight. And remember that certain medical conditions and medications can impact your weight too, so be sure to talk with your doctor to help you rule out any other potential causes. Number three is skin irritation. And I'm not talking about the occasional zit, but rather chronic skin irritation, like eczema, rosacea, and dandruff. When these conditions flare, inflammation is the underlying cause, and an unhealthy gut microbiome can promote inflammation. So what can you do? Again, limit those sources of refined sugar. These foods can contribute to inflammation, which may manifest itself in our skin, worsening these conditions. Also, foods that are high in saturated fat can cause inflammation. So try to limit fatty meats and full fat dairy products. So the bottom line is that our gut microbiome impacts not only our gut, but our entire bodies. I hope these tips help you as they've helped me and my clients. And I know that your gut will thank you.